Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Um, last episode we got the slingshot, which is really good. We got beans, quite a few songs. We got Bolero Fire, I believe, Serenade of Water, and I believe either Nocturne of Shadows or Requiem of Spirit last episode. Um, we went back to being Child Link. Um, we did all we could as an adult Link, I think. And yeah, this episode, hopefully we'll get a Deku Tree knocked out, and a lot of other things. So, let's get going. So probably from the, some of the first stuff I'm going to be doing is getting some gold sculptures here. No, sorry, I don't want to talk to you. Um, with bugs, we'll be able to get bean patch sculptures out of the way here. I think there's three of them we can get right now. Get a little to the left of that, and quickly recapture one of them. You only need one of the bugs to get into the bean patch, so... And there's three that pop out of the bottles. Get some Deku Nuts here. Not terrific, but... Next, we'll be going into the Lost Woods, getting those, and doing the Slingshot archery game. And here's the other Bean Sprout. I believe we have one more after this. Recapture one of them. And what do we get from this one? Decker Stick Ready. And just a heart piece. Now we got five hearts. And let's get to the next. Or the last bean sprout. And here's the last one. And we will have to plant a bean here to get the uh, gold sculpture as adult link, which is up above this. And this one will be. Come on. Do they not go in? The hell? Alright, they should go in on this one. Don't know why I didn't do it last time. There we go. And we get a small key to Gerudo Training Grounds here. Our first one for that. And the only other thing that we can do in Lost Woods right now is the Slingshot minigame. Need to get 300... Oh yeah, we have to plant the bean. Almost forgot that. Let's get our Slingshot out and the beans. And after this we can go to Deku Tree and get pretty much everything except for one Golden Sculptula. Unless we get bombs and boomerang, in which case we can get all of it, but I highly doubt Deku Tree is hiding all of it. So once we're done with Deku Tree, we're going to be going to Lake Hylia. There's two things we can get with that. And then to Zoro's Domain. Let's aim that. That's not it. And we get... Goron Tunic will help as an adult. And that's it for Lost Woods. I will see you at Deku Tree. Hello, Mr. Deku Tree. Ready to get rid of that parasite that's inside you. So we don't have a sword, but Deku sticks are more powerful, and we have plenty of them to get through this. We already did everything on the upper levels, so we'll just go down here. We will get this gold skull chill up here, since we can now. Gerudo's training car, that's actually really good. I have no way to get to Gerudo Training or Gerudo Fortress, but 
I'll definitely come in handy later. Uh, did we get the... No, we did not. Do that quick. So the main items we're looking for now is really bombs, ocarina, and boomerang. That's what we really need. Twenty-three is number one. So something I want to talk about, and I'm pretty sure some of you have already seen it, but the Mario Direct was today, 35th anniversary of it. And I can say I am very excited for two of the announcements. Super Mario 3D World coming to Switch in February, I believe, February 21st. And of course the bigger one, which I'm very happy of, is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Which is going to be three games. Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. I'm probably one of those who can't believe the leaks actually turned out to be true. And I cannot wait for that. I have actually never played Galaxy or Sunshine. 64 I played a lot of. And yeah, I just cannot wait for the 18th. I'm going to lose 60 bucks right away there, but it's going to be so worth it. The only thing I'm not going to don't know right now and probably won't find out until then is how the controls are going to be working for Super Mario Galaxy. Guys, for those who don't know, the Wiimotes were necessary for that game. I mean, I assume we're going to have to use your Joy-Cons for it on Nintendo Switch, but we shall see. All the other announcements like Mario Kart Live doesn't really interest me at all. The... I believe it was regular Mario All-Stars All on the NES, Super NES Classic. Or no, the emulator on Switch is also kind of interesting. Might play through that. They do have Nintendo Switch Online. Or just Nintendo Online. But yeah, super excited for 3D All-Stars. We'll see if I pick up 3D World. With the new... Looks like DLC to it. It's uh, about Bowser's Fury. Just a really exciting announcement for All-Stars though. 3D All-Stars. get Goma here taken care of. Hopefully I can one cycle her. Or this happens. Now let's beat the crap out of Goma, shall we? Hope I can one cycle it. I sometimes can. It's like 50 50 if I can one cycle it with Deku sticks. Without like crowd hitting them or crouch hitting them. But. I missed it. Yep. I took too long on that second one. I don't really like using glitches in this game just because I love the game so much. I'm not looking to really speedrun this. And there we go. So that is gonna be Deku finished off. And let's see what we get. We get a small key for Water Temple. Alright. That's gonna be our second one. And the medallion or stone that we get will be Fire Medallion. And that's Deku tree taken care of, except for one golden skull shell, which we will probably have to come back for. And that Pretty much all we can do in Kokiri Forest for the meantime. We will be going to Lake Hylia next, and we have two things to do there, and then go into Zoro's Domain since we do have the Silver Scale. 
and I will see you guys at Lake Hylia. Alright, so we can get a golden sculpture here and the underwater bottle. So we'll get this gold sculpture taken care of, and I will plant the bean here just to make sure we can get into the fishing hole as an adult without having to raise the water, and also on the top there without the hookshot. Get the heart piece above this building. This one's not necessary to plant, but I will. Okay, I got one. It's actually kind of close not to get that one. Please be something good. I said something good. <laughs> I guess we need some rupees. Um, we are going to be going to Zoro's Domain here, so... The shop could have an interesting item in it. And now for the underwater bottle, which we'll be able to see what it is here in a second. Looks just like a dungeon map to me. We'll still pick it up. Just to get that off the list. And it's the Deku Tree map. So we will be going to Zoro's Domain here. No reason for night or day yet. We don't have the boomerang to get the one gold sculpture in Jabu Jabu's area. We will be taking a look inside the shop here first. I will not be using the bugs to... Or I won't be dropping the bugs for a fish to get Jabu Jabu's belly yet. Okay, so there is a Kokiri sword and a red, green, or yellow rupee. I don't know, I had trouble with that. 205 rupees for the Kokiri sword. God damn it. I'm gonna mark this off in the tracker here as the Kokiri sword, a gold Skulchla, and that huge rupee will be worth it to get. And all marked off. No, I can't buy it. I was really hoping for a... I had Deku sticks in it, didn't it? Probably shouldn't do this, but I will buy some Deku sticks. And that's all we can get. Alright. So next we'll be doing the torch run here. Now we do we did select uh Zora. King Zora is always moved for adult and kid Link, so we don't need Ruto's letter. Ruto's letter does not exist in this game right now for a pickup because we don't need it. That away, get another one. And let's see what's in the torch run. Our prize is Gold Sculpture. Of course it is. We are just one away from the 20 prize now. Um, we will be doing the diving minigame now. And after that we'll get a Gold Sculpture in Jabba Jabba's area. Okay, slight oversight, we needed 20 rupees for that. Not my best play, as I forgot about that. When I usually do these randomizers, I usually give myself all wallet upgrades and max rupees so I don't have to spend time farming, but for this one I decided not to do that. There's Lord Jabu Jabu. So there's a gold sculpture in that tree there. If we had bombs and Zelda's lullaby, we could get the Zora's Fountain here, but or the Great Fairy's Fountain. Have something please. Red rupee. I mean I guess that enables us to get the diving minigame now, but I was kinda hoping for an item. And we'll go back to the diving mini game then.
And here we go. And that's all done. Let's go speak back to him and see what our prize is for this one. We get Eponason. And I believe in this randomizer, all you need is Epona Sun in order to get Epona. No, I don't want to play. So we do have Epona now. We can get to Gerudo's Fortress. That would be interesting. We're going to head to Zora's River now. There are three to four things we can get. Oh no, we've already been here, alright. Okay, so I did not realize we did some of this already. Um, there are still two things that we can do here, though. We can get the Gold Sculpture here. Just arrows... I guess to get it out of the way? And then I think we can also buy something from the Magic Bean Salesman for 60 rupees. I spent 60 rupees for 20. Greatest deal of all time. So our next spot will be Kakariko Village. And here we are at Kakariko. I did wait until nighttime in order to get a gold sculpture that we did not could not get last time. Uh, we only have two things to do here, so it's not going to be quite a bit. But there are some things we can do, like for instance, this gold sculpture on this watchtower. Which now, since we have the slingshot, we can kill. And it's a gold sculpture token. Okay. That's actually good here because we can get our 20th or our 20 sculpture token reward. Which is really nice. Get that out of the way while we're here. And then the other thing we can do is the gold sculpture and the bean patch in the graveyard and also plant the bean there. That allows Link to get up there without having to use long shot. But first things first, our reward for this will be. Heart container. Great. So I think we actually have enough hearts to beat the game right now. We don't need much, especially with double defense. It's kind of ridiculous. But onto the graveyard to plant a bean and get a gold sculptula. Which I will need bugs out for. And I hope it's like the Ocarina or something. Or the Boomerang. The Boomerang would be nice too. Or bombs. We actually still need quite a bit in order to progress more here. Because we're running out of things to do. We haven't got any big items so far this video. I will plant that. And we'll leave, because this was kind of a waste of time. Not except for planting the bean, but... Anyone could have done that. And with that, it looks like the last thing that we can really do... is a bean patch in... Gerudo Valley. That'll be our next location, and after that, I don't think there's anything else we can do as a kid. Unfortunately, we still can't get into the Goron area. Alright, so we just have one thing to do here. Hopefully it has an item like the Boomerang. Boomerang will be really helpful now. It would allow us to, I think, beat Jabu Jabu's belly. I don't think we need bombs for that. 
But we shall see here. I think I just need to go forward and then just drop it. Gonna take some damage here. It's fine. Drop the bugs. Grab one more because we still have at least one more. None of them went in the center, did they? Nope, none of them went in the center. Please go in the center. No, I don't want to talk to you. There we go. And we get more arrows. Okay. That was worth the time. So unfortunately it looks like that's gonna be the end of this episode. There's nothing else we can do as a kid. Um, next episode we'll go through things as an adult. We'll get some of those bean patches. Little Tulchulas take care of the heart pieces and such. Yeah, that'll be the end of today's episode. Kind of lackluster, nothing interesting happening, but that's just the nature with these randomizers. And with that, I will see you guys later. So long.